Hello, my name is Jürgen Resvig from Games Distillery with the second part of our Citadel's video series. In the first part, I introduced the construction and economy components. Today, we're mainly going to deal with the construction of defenses, in particular, castle building. Have fun watching. After building my first settlement and getting a flourishing economy up and running, it's time to start thinking about defenses. Citadels is a strategy game, as I've said. It's clear that at some point in the game, I'm either going to be attacked or will have to attack an opponent myself. When it comes to defenses, we have an elaborate system of various defensive works, which I can piece together like a set of building blocks and turn my little settlement into a sizable castle. So now, let's start constructing our first defenses. I need to find a strategic place to build my first tower. Towers are the strategic points that I set, where I want my defenses to start from. These can be connected by walls or large gates, so that my workers can still get in and out. While my tower is still being built, I can carry on planning my defenses. I can now attach a gate to the placeholder for my tower and plan my defensive line. In this way, I can even build a defensive ring using walls, which can also be manned by units, or using outlying towers, which automatically attack invaders. Here, we can see the first gate has already been built, and I can now start connecting it with walls. Towers need to be assigned entrances, so that I can dispatch units to the walls later on. I can simply position them as I see fit. The biggest and most important defensive building is the castle itself, the castle building. This consists of a building with four towers, which automatically shoot in all directions to defend the castle. This is the actual castle, the strongest defensive building in citadels. So my first defensive ring is now complete and I can also attach my defensive works to any tower. That means they behave like any normal tower. For example, I can now attach a stretch of wall to any of these towers and in turn attach a tower to this wall. So now I can see that my defenses are connected to my castle. And now, one very important feature is that I can, of course, send units up onto the walls. In this instance, I'm going to use two workers. Of course, this is really useful later on with archers who, with the benefit of the height advantage, are able to fend off attacking enemies nicely. As with production buildings, defensive structures can also be upgraded in three stages. Basic defenses are made completely of wooden palisades. At level 2, it's a combination of wood and stone, and the highest level 3 has defenses made completely of stone. Another important aspect of my defenses is that I can build moats and spear walls in front of my walls. This allows me to stave off enemies before they even reach my walls. Moats are especially effective at holding off siege weaponry. This means that if the enemy tries to gain entry to my castle using heavy weaponry, I can stop them with the walls. The spear walls mainly hold off human soldiers who cannot penetrate these walls. My defensive wall has now been completely upgraded to level 2. I can see here everything is made of wood and stone and even the outlying defenses with spear walls and moats are ready. So the enemy is going to have a hard time conquering my castle. 
Additionally, I can equip towers with offensive weaponry. I can place a ballista or catapult on every tower, which then increases the attack range and also the amount of damage the tower can deal. Now, I'm going to upgrade these walls and the castle again to the highest level, so that we can see how it looks when we reach the highest level. So now, my defenses have also been upgraded to the highest level, level 3. Everything is made of stone. I have ballistas and catapults on my towers. I have moats and spear walls outside my walls and have created an almost impenetrable fortress. That was the second part of our Citadel's video series, and you've now learned how to defend your settlement from enemy attacks. In the next part, we'll be going to war ourselves. I'll show you which units you can build, and we'll assemble an army to send into battle against the enemy. It would be great if you tuned in again. See you next time.